welcome back to another video in our cooking series i hope you guys will stay tuned and watch the entire video to see what i created from what i had on hand i know i'm gonna do some salmon burgers but how will they come out will they just be burgers or part of a dish stay tuned and listen to the voiceovers and watch the ingredients on the screen love you guys welcome to another day of cooking with tea um i don't have any idea I didn't have any idea of what I wanted for dinner. Oh, my tulips are dying. Focus, focus. Yeah, they're dying. So they last only a week in the house, I guess. It's fine, cause I'm gonna go get some more. But anyway, um, what's in my glass today? I'm about to see, hopefully this still has some fit. Oh, it still got bubbles, okay. Cheers to another day of cooking. So this is La Grana. This is the one that I tried the other day um, when I made the cocktail on Sunday. Um, the cocktail that was nasty. But this, um, is this a cobble? Yeah, this cobble root, it, it was good by itself. Ooh. Um, so I had no idea what I wanted to eat. I just knew, I really was planning on going out to get something. Um, Y'all don't pay my, my pants no mind, they full of paint. Um, my plan was, I was like, ooh, maybe I should go to um, Bonefish. Then I was like, no, maybe I wanna go find somewhere where I can sit, that's a small, quiet place, coffee house, get like a soup and a salad. Ooh, maybe I should go. Then my mind was just in too many different directions. So I was like, maybe you should just sit your hips down and just find something to eat here, cook something and use what you have, which is what I be saying, use what you have. So we have the salmon burgers from Trader Joe's <laughs> and I'm trying to see what kind of filling they have in them. I ain't got my glasses on, so I really can't. Why is it taking them so long to get my glasses back? My other pair that they had to fix. Anyway, well, it hasn't been two weeks. It'll be two weeks this Saturday. So anyway, I was thinking of having the burgers and I was like, I don't want all that bread. So I'm throwing some burgers out, but I was thinking I could fix those in the pan with some like seasoning or some, a little bit of um, onion and garlic. So we have some onion, some garlic. I'm gonna use yellow onion instead of red onion today. And then I was like, ooh, some pasta on the side. So I'm gonna do some fettuccine, but it's going to be like a veggie fettuccine. So in it, I'm gonna put, well, peppers are fruit, but anyway, I'm gonna put red, orange, and yellow peppers, because I need to use these. I'm gonna put onion and garlic in it. I'm gonna put some spinach, some poblano, and it's gonna be cooked in a butter sauce. Um, I wish I had a dry white wine that was open, that wasn't bubbles because that would make it like a buttery wine sauce. I'm gonna try, girl, what? I'm gonna try to make a butter wine sauce, but I'm gonna use copper brute, which I've never done before. So um, I'm probably going to mute out, play some music, move the phone down, the camera on the phone. I'm, I still have not used my camera yet because I haven't really read up on everything. So I'll be using it soon. But um, once again, thank y'all for coming to yet another episode of Cooking with Tea. I'm gonna put everything here. I'm gonna get me a nice little thumbnail. And like I said, I'm gonna play some music so that y'all can see. I mean, so that y'all can watch and I'll, you know, make sure I put everything in the description box. And I really don't have any measurements of this, so I can't share exact measurements, but I can share the ingredients. So hopefully it turns out good, which my daughter is always like, I don't know why you keep saying you hope your food turns out good, because it always is good. You know, sometimes we just don't be having, don't be having, we don't have the, you know, um, the faith sometimes in our own cooking, but other people like it. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna get this little thumbnail taken and then um, we're off to the races. So y'all stay tuned.
I'm not the only person who is finding themselves irritated by frozen fruits and vegetables from the grocery store. I wasted over half of this onion because it was soggy in the middle and once I cut it, part of the skin was actually starting to mold. I'm like, am I the only person who's buying produce from the grocery store and after a couple of days it is gone bad completely? Listen, they got to do something about this. Wall up, wall up, lately you and I have been all up, all love. I don't know what's up with our love. I love you for getting all about us, about us, oh My Jolie, oh my Jolie Where are you when I need you the most? You still am my This is murder, heart is melting Girl, you got me Called the bluffing, made you something Now you talking Telling me to cool it off, cool it off How can I cool it off, cool it off Telling me to cool it off, cool it off you don't turn on me now you don't get no time for me now babe got him on a rebound but it's only you that i like babe tout ce que j'ai fait c'était pour toi sur le haut par le mettre écoute pas tu me vois crever mais tu bouges pas pourquoi whoa your wall up wall up you can't even get the scars up for us i don't know what's up with our love our love you forgetting all about need you the most, you still am my age. This is murder, heart is melting, girl, you got me. This is murder, the bluff and made you something, now you talking. I call you bluff. You're telling me to cool it up, cool it up. How can I cool it up, cool it up? Telling me to cool it up, cool it up. How can I cool it up? Since I was going with the pasta dish, once the salmon burgers completely thawed, I just broke it up into pieces and knew I was just going to put it in a pan and season it with some butter and a bunch of other stuff um, because I thought that that would serve better once plated instead of having it as one solid salmon burger. Okay, now that I've cooked the salmon, I removed it from the pan, but if you notice, I left some of the seasoning in the pan because I want to carry that flavor throughout the whole meal. So I added some more butter and I added my garlic and my onions and I'm going to let that sweat down a little bit before I add the remaining ingredients, which would be the peppers and the um, onions, no, I'm sorry, the peppers and the spinach. Alright, so fingers crossed this white wine butter sauce comes out well. I've never made it, like I said, with bubbles before, so we're going to see how it turns out. One thing I can tell you, it does smell good, and I'm really liking this golden brown color of the onions and the garlic in the pan. Um, I feel like it's going to need some heat, so I'm going to add some fresh red pepper right here. That is completely and totally up to me. Now let's add the rest of our ingredients and let that cook down. Okay, this next tip is just for people who are learning to cook or wanting to cook. When you're cooking, make sure you taste your foods if you can to make sure that it doesn't need anything or something is missing. I noticed I need a little bit more of the onion powder, garlic powder, and I need a little more butter to get that rich flavor that I was looking for. All right, so here I am just mixing it up, making sure that I get everything incorporated. And next I'm adding a ladle full of the pasta water. Whenever I'm fixing dishes that uh, or have, have like a meat separate, I always add the pasta water to it because it gives it more flavor. Oh, your wall up, wall up, you can't even get the scars up. For us, I don't know what's up with our love. Our love, you forgetting all about us, about us, oh. 
Majoli, oh Majoli, Majoli. Where you been? When I need you the most, you still am my yeah. This is murder, heart is melting, girl, you got me. This is my bluff and need you something. Now you talking. I call you bluff. You're telling me to pull it I up. hope you enjoyed this cooking video um, of the salmon and pepper onion pasta spinach girl i don't even know what it's called but i hope you enjoy enjoyed the video now let's taste it and see why can't i get i'm trying to get some of the all the goodies on the fork try not to stick my finger in my food and be rude on this camera but oh well Mm-hmm. Okay, I did a thing. Woo! Hey, this is good. And again, used what I had. Had a mind of what I had a taste for. Just created something. Mmm. And anytime I'm making a dish and I'm using pasta and I'm making it with pasta, I always put pasta water in whatever it is that I'm cooking. Whether it's spaghetti, like when I'm doing spaghetti and I'm cooking the meat, I add pasta water to the meat and sauce because it has that starch in it, the, um, the saltiness from the pasta. That's why I don't have to add a lot of salt to food. It just gives it flavor. More flavor. This is good. I'm in this kitchen having a hot flash because the oven is on. I'm about to put some steaks in the oven for my husband. He might eat some of this. He probably will eat some of this too because it's not anything weird in it. Um, Oh, it's got the right, the right amount of kick. These poblano peppers are good, the red pepper. I mean, it's just delicious. Mm. I hope y'all try it. And again, I got the salmon. I use the salmon burgers. I'm pretty sure you can use shrimp. You can use beef. You can use whatever you want. But because I eat seafood, that's why I use the salmon burgers. I didn't have any planks of salmon. So I used what I had. And on that note, I'm gonna finish my dinner. I'm gonna fix his dinner, his beef rather, cause we already have sides and stuff. I'm gonna put that steak in the oven. And I'm gonna get out of this kitchen on these hot lights and try to cool down. I really could go on the porch and cool down because, oh, the temperature went up. It was 46 degrees earlier, it's 50 degrees now. But either way, that's disgusting. Chai jelly. And it's a popular recipe. Ew. Y'all remember to use what you get. Also, if you're feeling ever so thoughtful, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Drop down in the comments. Let's have a little chit chat. I'm enjoying the communication, y'all. I'm just super excited that people are talking to me in the comments. Because for the longest time, my comments was dry, honey. Now I do have a few comments so that people talk to me. And I really love that. But on this last little note, I'm going to wish y'all love, peace, and blessings. And I will talk to you in the next video. Stay tuned because the next video, we got some exciting stuff coming up. Mm -hmm. We going out of town. Just for the weekend, but we going out of town. I'm not gonna say where.